David, the Little Shepherd, by Dina Rosenfeld. David, the Little Shepherd. Once upon a time in the land of Israel, there lived a little boy named David. David's father had many sheep. Most of them were white and some of them were black. They had bright, shiny eyes, wet black noses, and thick, curly coats. There were big, strong sheep who liked to run quickly and butt their heads together. There were old, tired sheep who walked slowly and carefully over the mountains. And there were frisky baby lambs who climbed on the rocks and played follow the leader. Sheep need someone to watch them and take care of them. A person who does this job is called a shepherd. Even though David was just a little boy, he was a very good shepherd for his father's sheep. If a sheep wandered into the woods, David hurried to bring him back to the flock. If lions or bears growled on the hills at night, David lit fires to keep them away. If a lamb fell down and got hurt, David would hold the frightened baby sheep in his arms, stroking it gently to make it feel better. One day, the little shepherd led his flock to a beautiful meadow for a meal of juicy green grass. The big sheep ate and ate until they were full. But the old sheep and the little lambs just walked away, their black noses drooping down to the ground. Something is wrong, thought David. Maybe they don't like this grass. So David led the flock to another green field. He watched as the old sheep and the little lambs ran happily towards the meadow. But the big strong sheep ran faster on their big strong legs. They bit off mouthfuls of soft grass and ate it all up. <laughs> bah, bah, sighed the old sheep. Bah, bah. 
by the little baby lambs. By the time they came to the meadow, there was no soft grass left for them. Dubbin was worried. If the old sheep don't eat, he thought, they will be too weak to walk over the mountains. And if the baby sheep, if they don't eat, how will they grow up to be big and strong? Dubbin had no one to ask for advice. He had to think of a way to help the hungry sheep all by himself. He thought and thought. At last, he had a plan. The sheep watched curiously as Dubbin set to work. He chopped down some trees, split them into rails, and built three fences. The little shepherd led all the big, strong sheep behind the first fence. What a nice fence, thought the big sheep. And they began to sharpen their horns against the wood. Then David led all the old, weak sheep behind the second fence. What a nice fence, thought the old sheep. They began to scratch their backs against the rails. Finally, David led all the little lambs behind the third fence. What a nice fence, thought the baby lambs. They poked their little heads through the holes to see what would happen next. At feeding time, David let the baby lambs come out first. They nibbled and nibbled the soft, sweet top part of the grass with their small baby teeth. Next, David let the old sheep have their turn. They munched and munched the juicy middle part of the grass with their old weak teeth. And finally, David let the big sheep come out. They gobbled and gobbled the crunchy bottom part of the grass with their big strong teeth. Now all the sheep were happy. They lay down side by side, dreaming of the green meadows where David would take them tomorrow. The little shepherd was happy too. He sat down under the trees with his harp to sing songs to Hashem, the creator of the world. Hashem was happy too. He said, just as David has taken care of every single sheep, I know he will take good care of every single Jew, young and old, big and small. Let him be their king. And so it was that David, the little shepherd, grew up to become 
David HaMelech, king of Israel. The end.